today we are going to read ba -ba -ba -bum, Thelma the Unicorn, written by Erin Blaby. Are you ready? Okay, before we get started with Thelma, we're going to talk about a couple words that are going to come up in the story. The first word is forlorn. Forlorn is another word for saying really sad or kind of hopeless. Another word that comes up in the story is the word lonely. Now you tell me what you think that word means, lonely. So another way to describe lonely is to feel all alone without any company. And one other word that we're gonna talk about today is the word unique. Unique is being, being extra special or maybe one of its kind. So as we go through the story, I want you to think about something that is unique to you. What makes you, you? Okay, and one other thing to note about Thelma is that she starts with a T and an H. And what do we do when we make a TH sound? We stick our tongue between our teeth and blow. So our TH sound is the only sound where we get to stick our tongue out at our teachers. Thelma. Can you practice saying that? Thelma. Thelma. All right, here we go. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. So right now, she's just a small pony, but as she looks up in the sky, she's thinking about becoming a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect the way you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and tied it to her nose. I'll just say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work, who knows? So Thelma found a carrot and decided to tie it to her nose to make her look like a unicorn. And look at our friend Otis's face. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder what's in his thought bubble. What do you think? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? I wonder what Thelma's thinking in her thought bubble. And now look at Otis's face. I wonder what he's thinking. Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. Special now, she cried out loud, and so a star was born. Thelma is feeling very proud. Otis looks like he's feeling maybe a little sad or forlorn, and maybe a little surprised. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit, the fame, the fame, the fame. So Thelma was getting quite famous because she was unique. There aren't too many unicorns in the world, are there? Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. So here she looks relaxed and content, and content. But here, look, people are too close to her. She's getting kind of squished. I think her thought bubble would be saying, I don't like this. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They chased her everywhere she went to get her autograph. So here's Thelma running and the fans are chasing after her. In fact, they chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. Hmm, I can tell by Thelma's face that she is not liking this anymore. They chased her while she exercised. 
they chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. So Thelma says, please stop. But are the fans listening to her? No. And how is that making Thelma feel? Probably pretty uncomfortable. And some were not fans of her at all. No, some were just really mean. And some just did the meanest thing she'd really ever seen. Oh, someone's throwing something at her here. And here this sign says, I don't like unicorns. That's making Thelma feel very sad. So one dark night, she felt quite sad, this famous little pony. She said, I thought that I'd feel great, but all I feel is lonely. And remember, lonely is when you feel like you have no one else around. And look, she's looking at her best friend Otis's picture. And so with that, she changed her mind, this lonely unicorn. She cleared off all her sparkles and she ditched the magic horn. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. Hmm, do you see her there? Oh, here she is. She's right behind the baby, next to the man. Does she look the same or different? Yeah, why does she look different? She thought how nice that it would be to see her lovely Otis. Ooh, I, I would wonder what this in their thought bubbles. They both seem very happy to see each other. And when he asked about her trip beneath their favorite tree, she simply said, oh, it was fun, but I'd rather just be me. So when was Thelma feeling the happiest? Yeah, I think she was feeling the happiest when she just got to be herself and be around people that love and care for her. And now my last question is, what makes you unique? What's something that you're really good at or you like to do? Tell me, you can call me or you can send a video of something cool that you can do. I'd love to know what makes you unique. All right, see you next time, friends. Bye.